Thank you. You cannot impact or change the world until you first impact and change your own world. Now, regardless of what you've been told or taught, the drivers of your success and failure are not your marketing skills. They're not your sales skills. They're not Facebook algorithms. They're not social media. They're none of those things. The drivers of your success or failure are not outside of you. The drivers of your success or failure are deep inside you. Your true wealth is not what you have. Your true wealth is what you're left with when all you have is gone. Show of hands, how many of you would honestly raise your hand and say, I need to gain something in my life that I have not yet had or experienced, or I need to regain something that maybe I've given away or lost. Raise your hand nice and high. Okay, thank you so much for your response. Let me promise you, you can do this. Three principles we're going to cover real quickly in our short time today. Number one, reinvention, adaptation, redemption. The only time you're not totally vibrant, vital, and alive is when you are doing something to cut yourself off from that infinite source from which you were birthed, that infinite source in which you live, and that infinite source to which you will return. Please put this in your notes. Life is too precious. Life is too short to not do what you love. Principle number two, autonomy and holography. You see, we've been taught that autonomy is self-governance. It is. Many people believe that autonomy is doing what you choose to do. I submit to you that true autonomy is the ability to choose your experience regardless of what you're required to do. One of the greatest ways to develop autonomy is to develop true self-awareness. Very few people are truly self-aware. Emotional intelligence. Who are you, really? Not your conditioning. Most people want to tell me what they want, and they don't even know who they are. How can you tell me what you want if you don't know who you are? True autonomy is a state of inner unity. Principle number three, purpose, the new ROI. Your pain is not a signal to suffer. Your pain is a signal to grow. You want to impact the world? You cannot not impact the world because you're connected to the world. You're already impacting the world. The question is not, how can I impact the world? The question is, how are you impacting it right now? Because you are. How are you impacting the world in this holographic universe? Do you understand your holography? A purpose is always more compelling than a goal. A purpose will get you out of bed in the morning and motor you further and forward long after a goal has outworn its welcome. Does that make sense? Say yes. A purpose is always more compelling than a goal. You see, you and I are part of a machine that has conditioned us to forget what's important in life. Junk food has made us sick and weak and ill. Junk values have made us miserable and have destroyed our lives. ROI, 
I'm a businessman. Of course, return on investment is important, but I submit to you that the new ROI must be return on impact. The new ROI must be return on impact. What impact are you having in this world? We've got to change the conversation. We've got to move it from purely profit to purpose. We have to move the conversation from only about money to meaning. We have to move the conversation from acquisition to contribution. Move it from solely on economy to ecology. We've got to change our focus. We've got to change the conversation. You know, Howard Thurman, the great civil rights leader, said, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive. Because what this world needs are more people who have come alive. You Thank you. Watch me. Thank you. I can't